I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today we're in Geneva, Illinois at the Geneva Concourse. There's some amazing cars here and I met Tom. Tom, what's your last name? Walters. Tom, Tom Walters. Tom Walters. Right. And uh, Tom, what kind of car? First of all, what year did you find this car originally? Originally I got this car in, in uh, 1963 but I saw it brand new in 62 because I got it from the fellow I was working for back in uh, Elmhurst, Illinois. So he bought it right in Elmhurst. And, and then you sold it. I sold it. Unfortunately, I was at college, <laughs> Elmhurst College, sold the car, couldn't afford it. But approximately 10 years ago, I was able to locate the car through a good friend of mine, Joe Jordan, up in Wausau, Wisconsin. Tip in the drawer, Joe. Nice job. Yeah, right. Great and the time. car's back again. I have it. Yeah, I love it. Let's yeah. take a look at it. You bet. So, with Tom's car twice, let's take a look at that. So, this is the Sport Fury. And how many of these with the 413 are still known to be around? Three of them. Three of them. Wow. We have the hood ornament that is actually connected directly to the hood. Let me get to the side. We're here early in the show, so we're trying to... Let me see if I can get you that profile just like that. So, Tom, first question is, yes. you know, you love the car to begin with. It must have been heartbreaking to let it go. Yes, it was. It was really sad because... Uh, I got a check for $1,800 for it from a plastic surgeon. He bought it for his high school son. And when the high school son took it, he did something. What did he yeah, do with he it? He took off like uh, most people would with uh, a Max Wedge car. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he, like uh, a bat out of hell. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. And that was discouraging to you? It was very discouraging because uh, I ended up uh, going through school with a 1949 Plymouth. <laughs> And an interesting rear window with this peak, right? I mean, it almost yeah. looks like a windshield rather than... Correct. Uh, uh, you're, you know what? I thought the same thing, personally. And here we are in the back. And as you can see on the plates, we're going to show you the wedge. Yeah, it's the first year for the wedge, and that's why the one's on there, actually. That's the first year they put that in. So I'm saying dual exhaust. Our red, white, and blue, which was the Sport Fury theme. And you can read Golden Commando Power there. The reason they didn't make many of these is because the uh, 426 came out two months later. And these came out in June, actually, of 62, and then. You know, two months later, they came out with the, the 426. Yeah. Let's open that trunk, shall we? We've got a sure. few treats for it. Got the singular lights there, all very distinct. And some of the treats we have in here for you. First of all, as you can see, good-sized trunk. I just want to show you the motor trend time frame there in 62 with your Sport Fury road test. Give you a moment to pause on that. This surprise package of top performance puts Plymouth's personal type sports vehicle out in front of the pack. <laughs> Look at the way they're driving it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Wheels up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It was the beginning of the, the craziness to 700 horsepower today, right? Right. Tell me about this. What is this box? Uh, uh, this box is the... Uh, I worked at this uh, Standard Oil Station on, on Lake in York in Elmhurst, yes. and Joe Slowick was the original owner. I worked for him. He bought it from Elmhurst Chrysler Plymouth because the Elmhurst Chrysler Plymouth guy was his good buddy that owned it because Joe always drove Imperials, but uh, he talked him into this car, which I'm so happy about, because Joe's wife didn't like it, so he sold it to his little employee that was going to college for uh, $2,200 at the time. Not quite up to the speed of the Imperial. 
No. So it's got to go, the wife said. Yeah, the wife uh, said uh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Makes too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be delighting in that. Yeah. Look at this yeah. actual yeah. build piece here. Tom, you've, you've been a great caretaker of this car, obviously. I mean, it just looks spectacular. Yeah, well, it's just a fun car. Just a nice car. What's the reaction when? Uh, what's the reaction when you uh, bring this out? Do you drive it much? Yeah, I try to drive it quite a bit, actually. Yeah, uh, but uh, I have a few other vehicles, so I uh, I try to exercise them all. Yeah. But this one here is uh, one of my favorites, to be honest with you, because because it brings back my youth. Yeah, this is the one that keeps us young, right? Yeah, right. Let's close that trunk. You got the keys? Yes, I do. Good. All right, we'll take a look at the interior. May I? May I take a look? Thanks. I'm going to uh, to do that. All right, let me do that. That's all right. I'll do that for a second. Sure. But you can sit in it, do whatever you want. Yeah. There. Look at that. The dash. <laughs> we'll step back one moment. Just get the uh, that looks good. You want me to close it? No, we're good. I'll close that. Well, go ahead. There we go. Your hat looks great. <laughs> Your hat looks like you're on the Summer Boulevard cruise. <laughs> Keep the hat in. We like it. I like the color combination to it. The blue and the white go very well. The ermine white, uh, uh, the, the blue interior, I think, was pretty sharp. What's the yellow for? That yellow is uh, choke. got to do with the wiper, believe it or not. Okay. I see the choke. The, the choke, yeah. I don't even need it out right now. And we got the push button. Push button, uh, uh, you know, the uh, torque flight transmission. Great transmission. Okay. Really great transmission. Got it. I'm nice. sure that's original mileage on there too. 53. Is that right? Yeah. Look at the uh, up the center. The se now what is this? That's a heater. Heater, so it, right. it just makes it warmer and colder. Yep, there you go. Got it. Tell me what this is. High, that's, medium, that's low. The wiper. wiper, got it. Okay. Nice airy dash in here, right? Gives you a lot of room. Yeah, there is a lot of room for the passenger. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the headliner and we'll take a look <laughs> under the hood. Okay. All right. And here we have under the <laughs> This is the old 413, 410 horsepower. Wow. Yeah, it was quite the deal with 62. Let me get some of the features on that. Seems a little scary today, but there's no power brakes. But uh, that's the way it was. You've got your one exhaust manifold that's high. And I see that that's going over your your uh, right. steering column. Right. In order to fit this motor in there, they have the, both both of them are, are wedged that way. Both of them are high. Got yeah. it. Yeah. That's over the, the top. That's the way they were to get in there. And it looks great. Let's uh, fire it up, and then uh, we'll let it idle. I don't know All if. Right. It, Yeah, I know what it is. Because I judge last year, just a couple times. It's a solid lifter car, so it makes a little bit of... Yeah, nice. A little bit of like
shut that down. We'll shut that down, Tom. We'll shut that down. <laughs> Come on out. I enjoyed that because we uh, had some wood chips back there. And it, uh, you did a little pre-landscaping. It, uh, it took all the wood chips out. So, first of all, I just got to say, thanks for being on my car story. What a great caretaker you've been for this car. If people like what they see, subscribe, hit the bell, they can see more cars. Tom, any, any final thoughts, any special memories of this car that you'd like to share? Yes, I, I'll be honest with you. I had uh, uh, some, some terrific dates when I was uh, 21 years old with this car. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, that, that's probably one reason why I like it so much. There you go. So, such very <laughs> special memories keeps us young. Yeah, right. You're exactly, exactly right. All right. Thanks for being on my car story. Thank you. Appreciate it myself.